Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to do experiment about measurement of resistance. Objective. Aim of this experiment is to find the resistance of an unknown resistor from the graph of the current against the potential difference across it. Safety. If too large current is used, then the wires can get hot, which causes burns. Apparatus, power supply of range from 1.5 to 5 volt. Switch, 4 ohm resistor, a meter, voltmeter, rheostat, connecting wires. And also we need a pencil to draw the graph, ruler, and calculator. Procedure. Set up the circuit as shown in this figure. Note that for procedure. We have very important precautions. Number one, the connection should be neat, clean, and tight. Number two, if there is any zero error in the voltmeter or a meter, should be correct. The key should be inserted only while taking observation to avoid heating of resistance. Otherwise, its resistance will increase. To start the connection, first switch off the power supply and adjust the power supply to 4.5 volt. It is switched off. We start from the negative ball of the power supply. We connect the power supply with the switch. And then, and then from the switch to the restart. From the switch to the restart. This is the restart. From the rear step to the resistor. In rear step, we have two positions to connect. This position and up one. Not down and down. This down and this up. And then from the resistor to the ammeter. Note that this is a negative connected to this. So we connect this wire to the negative of a meter. A meter has negative and two positives. So we connect with this one, with negative. Now, which switch we use? This one 0 0.6, this one 3 ampere. If we use higher current, we use 3 ampere. So the scale is upward. The scale upward, each one dash represents 0.1 the scale downwards that we use it is up to 0.6 so each one unit represents 0.2 so 0.2 divided into 10 dashes so each one dash is 0.02 now we connect this one here now. we connect that a meter to the positive board of the power supply, the red one. This is a simple circuit without connection of the voltmeter. We check our connection. So we switch on the power supply. How can we know our connection is correct if the needle of the ammeter move in the positive direction? So the ammeter needle move in the positive direction. So our, correct, uh, our connection is correct. Now we switch off and then we measure the resistor in parallel with the voltmeter. Now we check our connection. Switch on. Now 
the connection of voltmeter is wrong. Why? Because the needle goes to negative. So what we do, just to switch the wires of connection of the voltmeter. We check again. Yes, it is in the positive. Now, how can we start to take the measurement? We adjust the rheostat to give us the minimum value of the current and the minimum value of the voltage. So, we move slight the rheostat to the end. So, this is the minimum value. How to take the measurement, uh, the measurement of a meter and voltmeter? We have to look normally to the ammeter, not in each side. So we look normally to each one. So the ammeter and voltmeter must be in front of us. Okay, now we start. Before to take the reading, it must be off. Don't leave the switch on for long time. This will be overheat the resistance. So the reading is, will, be, will not correct and also it will be damage the resistance if we stay for a long time. Now, we start, before to start, we have to check the zero error. In that a meter stands for zero, voltmeter stands for zero, so no zero error for a meter or voltmeter. We start to take the first measurement. Actually, we take five readings and remember, each one dash of the ammeter represents 0.02 and each one in the voltmeter because we use this one to read down it is 0.1 because they are one unit and 10 dashes so each one dash of the voltmeter represents 0.1 but in ammeter 0.02 now we take five readings of ammeter and voltmeter so we start with the minimum value of current and the minimum value of voltage. For the voltmeter, it's two point, it's between two and three, so nearer to two, so it's two point two volt. But this each one dash represents zero point one. So we say zero point one multiply two point two. So it's a zero point two two. This is the voltage, and here it is just one dash. So the current is one dash, it means 0 0.02 ampere, and the voltage is 0 0.22 volt. Switch off. Now, we take another reading. Switch on, and increase to get two dashes of the current. For the ammeter, two dashes. So, Actually, the ammeter is the, here in this experiment, it is the independent. So this is two dashes. Each one dash is 0 0.02, so two dashes, it means 0 0.04. We take the reading of voltmeter, one, two, three, 3.5 dashes. So 3.5 multiply 0 0.1, it is 0 0.35. We take the third reading. Now, switch on and slightly increase the current to three dashes in the, the ammeter. Now in ammeter three dashes so it is 0 0.06 and in the voltmeter it is here 4.7 so 4.7 multiply 0 0.1 so it is 0 0.47 this is the voltmeter okay now we take another reading the last trial, we increase the current to five dashes in that ammeter. So we switch on and increase it to five dashes. Yeah, five dashes. And five dashes means 0 0.10 ammeter current. And for the voltmeter, it is 6, 7, 7.5. 7.5 for the voltmeter. 7.5 multiply 0 0.1, it is 0 0.75. That are the five cards. Now, we plot the graph of voltage on y-axis 
versus current x-axis. So this is the voltage. 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Take care when you draw the graph. Must be the same unit. So this is 0 0.1. Don't jump to 0 0.5. No. 0 0.1, it means you add 0 0.1 in each case. So this is for the voltage, up to 1.0, because the maximum is 0 0.7. For the current, it is 0 0.0 to 0. Point, okay. So it's better to start with 0 0.01, 0 0.02, and so on. Now we put the units. Okay, so here, each one on x-axis, each one centimeter represents 0 0.01. Each one centimeter on y-axis represents 0 0.1. We start to plot the points. So in the first one, when the current is 0 0.2, the voltage is 0 0.22. When the current is 0 0.2, the voltage is 0 0.22. So it's two dashes after 0 0.2 here. We blot the points. Now what we do, we draw the best fit line. It is a line path in between the points, such that the number of points up to this line equal the number of points down to this line. And that line must pass through the origin. Now we draw the best fit line. Look, it's two points up and two points down. So this is the best fit line. Pass it through the origin. Now we answer the next question. He said, what is the relationship between V and I? It's a direct relation. The voltage is proportional directly to the current. Use the plotted graph to determine the resistance of the resistor. We know that R equals V over i. This is vi graph. So r equal direct the slope. So we find the slope and then the slope equals the resistance. To find the slope, how to find the slope? We draw a triangle and we find the slope from the relation y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We draw a triangle. From this triangle, we find the slope. The slope of this line equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. What is y2? This is the value of y2. 0 0.6 and 3 dashes up to it, so 0 0.63. So y2 equals 0 0.63 minus y1. This is the value of y1, it is 0 0.3. Over x2, this is the value of x2, 0 0.08. Minus y1, uh, minus x1, so x2 minus x1, x1, 0 0.04. We calculate the slope. The answer is 8.25. So, use the plotted graph to determine the resistance of the resistor. So, the resistance equals the slope equals 8.25 ohm. He said. Compare the calculated value. This is the calculated value of the resistance, 8.25, of the resistance R to the actual value of the resistor that have been used in the experiment. The resistor that have been used, it is 4 ohm. How can we compare? So the calculated value is 8.25 divided by the actual value, it's 4. So, approximately equal to 2.06. So, it means the calculated value is two times the actual value. What are the sources of error?
The practical observations never match the theoretical reading. However, you can take some precautions to closely match the values. So for this experiment, the sources of error, wrong taking the reading, quality of a meter and voltmeter, zero error, parallax error. In conclusions, now let us we say about here conclusion about this experiment. This experiment allowed us to find the resistance of an unknown resistor from the graph of IB. Our result indicates that the calculated value of the resistance the calculated value of the resistance is two times more than the actual value because many sources of error. Maybe the first one, the best fit line, also the overheat of resistance. We leave, we leave the current path through the resistance for long time. Also, parallax error for reading the ammeter and voltmeter. What did you learn from this experiment? From this experiment, we learned that the relation between V and I is direct relation. The slope equal the resistance. I hope you understand this experiment. Thank you.